Hello, how you doing? My name is Nada Barber. Um, I work at J. Allen Barber Studio in Colony, New York. Um, I'm going to give you a short tutorial about sanitation and keeping your tools clean. First, we're going to get into uh, your uh, edge of clippers, which you use for your edge of clippers and the proper way to clean it. Um, usually, for them to work best, it's good that you, uh, you know, screw the front off. You know what I mean? Then uh, you open them up. For me, it works for me to clean my tools the best is when I open up my T-liners, um, clean out all the hair that's in the motor. So you unplug it first? Uh, you don't really have to unplug it. Just make sure it's off. Um, make sure you clean them out, um, spray them down, oil them the inside. That's when they work the best. So, you know, open them up. Make sure you open your tools. Right here, this is called Cool Clear. Um, it's for clipper cleaning. Um, if your blade is hot, it cools it down. It's a disinfectant, a lubricant. Good product. A lot of barbers use this in the industry. So uh, you would take this, shake it up a little bit, hit it. Don't saturate it, just hit it. You know what I mean? It does its job. Let the job do itself. You know what I mean? Spray that down, you know, brush it up. You know, let, let, the, uh, let it work through the blade. And there you go, you have a lubricant, it's clean, kills the diseases. I'm not opening up, but I usually uh, spray on the blade, like I did uh, just a few minutes ago. Okay. Spray on the blade, you know, just to keep it, just, just for protection for your clients. It's all about the client's protection, you know. Some people have sensitive skin, so it's good to keep the tools clean. Um, I also uh, use H42. Uh, for my blades, uh, it's a good lubricant. It kills a lot of diseases, as you can see: HIV, AIDS virus, uh, hepatitis C. You know, um, H42. It's good. It helps your blade move. You don't have to saturate it, though. I'm gonna give you an example how I, how I use it. Um, you know, me personally, I don't want to saturate it, so I take it from the bottom, let it hit. Just a couple drops in there on the blade. So it's pretty strong stuff. Yes, it's pretty strong stuff. And you don't want to saturate it because you don't want it pouring down your client's, client's eyes and stuff like that. You hit it like that. As you can see, the blade is working perfect. Take a little napkin or something, wipe it off. So you don't have it all on the client. Boom. Working perfect. Clean. Killed HIV, hepatitis C. Wonderful product. Um, also, all right, for your uh, fading tools. So you have to have a separate cleaning agent for the fading tools? Um, no, you don't have to have a, a separate cleaning uh, product for, for your fading tools, but it's good that you clean your fading tools out too. Uh, as you can see, I took the blades off. Blades off. That's just something you need to know when you're taking your barber license exam? Um, definitely. Sanitation is very important. You have to know this. You have to know this. Um, usually I open up the clippers, clean the inside, a lot of hair gets cluttered in there. It, it, it stops the blade from working the way it's supposed to, so it's good to clean the inside of your tools. You know what I mean? So they can work longer. It's all about having your tools be durable so they can work a very long time for you. You don't want to keep buying tools, all right? That's important. You don't want to keep spending money and wasting money, so take care of your products. Um, as you can see, also, you know, keep your stuff organized. So when you're in the, when you're in the mission, you don't have to be looking for stuff. It's all just one grab brush, one grab comb, one grab razor. You know so you know where you keep your stuff at all times. Exactly. Organization is about organization and keeping your stuff organized. So always be organized. Um, and it shows a lot. It shows a lot to the client that you're on your job. It's, about, it's always about being on top of your job. Um, they look at everything, so stay on point. That's what it's about. So keep you some alcohol always. You know what I mean? Is that 100%? Yes. 80%? 80% right here. Alcohol. You know what I mean? You got to pay alcohol. On. What's the minimal uh, level of alcohol um, that you would use? Me, I use the strongest, which is 80%. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to use strong alcohol to keep my clients clean. It's all about keeping my clients clean. I'm coming back saying, oh, I got bumps here. This happened. So I, I, I put my best efforts forward to make sure that they're clean. Um, I always keep some towels on the side. As you can see, some clean towels. Keep some clean towels on the side. Um, you know, so you can wipe them down. Uh, with clean towels, not uh, metal towels. Uh, so you towels, always make sure your stuff is clean. Um, and basically it's all about just being organized, man. That's number one. Be organized, have your stuff set, everything's on go. Look like you're ready to work. Whether you have somebody in your chair or you don't, be ready to work. And, um, that's what it's about. As you can see, my layout, everything is 
it's organized. I know where everything is at. I can I can sit right here and grab something without even looking and you know, just know where it's at. So it's all about just being organized. You know? That's what it's about, being on top of your job and staying clean and doing what you got to do. And how can they get in contact with you? How can you get in contact with me? You can call me for an appointment at 518-880-8478. My name is Nate Barber. Or you can uh, set an appointment through Facebook, which my name is Nate Quan Walls. Spell first name N-A-Q-U-I-N. Last name Walls, W-A-L-L-S. Feel free to browse and look me up. Um, set an appointment through my inbox. I get right back to you. I'm not the type of guy to leave you hanging and you be waiting all day. I'm all about the customer and uh, making the job happen. Right here.